Hi, I'm in the dumpster room again. Um, somebody's been uh, moving in. They've got a bunch of stuff. Oh, is there a, there's a microwave behind there. Throwing out some old stuff. Anyway, some carpet's gone. Someone's, uh, someone's renovating. Or doing something. Anyway, what's, what on earth is that? They've got a, a dice seat cube thing and some... Oh, it's a rolly backpack. Okay. No worries, but... Look at this, there's something down there. That looks like maybe some sort of big, uh, you know, AV receiver amp kind of, you know, surround thingo. I'll fish that out. Well, hello. Um, this is like, a, this is a Yamaha. It's got uh, HDMI, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Pandora, music streaming, seven channel amp. I don't know how recent it is, but jeez, uh, I mean, <laughs> It's, it's your Wi-Fi antenna. Unbelievable. What model is it? No idea. But, wow. Um, that's fantastic. Take it back to the lab. Power it up. Crack it open. Well, this isn't too shabby at all. It's a Yamaha RXV579. It's a pretty recent model. It does, you know, Spotify, Pandora. It's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 4K, uh, HDMI switching, uh, seven-channel amp. It works with Alexa, apparently. And it's a, it's like you can still kind of, sort of buy it. It's probably it might be officially uh, discontinued or whatever. But that's pretty schmick for finding in the dumpster. And the back's got all the requisite stuff. We've got a HDMI out and six HDMI ins. Network got all the old school uh, stuff. Of course, you've got all your uh, binding post speaker terminals, wireless, and woohoo. So, uh, yeah, forgive me, I won't tear it down. I want to see if it works, first of all. Let's power it up. All right, let's see if the magic smoke escapes. Didn't hear a bang. So, yeah, we've got a standby LED. Just, you might not be able to see that. Hey, main on, HDMI 2, so the processor's working, I hear all the relays clicking, and we've got HDMI input, DVR, aux, Bluetooth, net, net radio, network radio, USB, we can play from the USB stick, presumably. Unfortunately, no, I don't have the remote for this. Um, yes, I did look in the dumpster. I always look in the dumpster. Pro dumpster diving tip, always look for the remote controls and other uh, accessories and stuff like that because uh, people usually chuck those out as well. But on first pass, that is at least booting and doing stuff. Click and relays. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, check it out. I got uh, direct straight through to the ox, and uh, that works. A treat. Beauty. But I uh, couldn't get the uh, tuner working. I plugged a, um, like a, just a wire into the back, but I am in the lab here, so maybe we don't get uh, uh, radio reception too great. But anyway, the output power amp is working at least on those two channels fantastic and the hdmi switching works as well um it's they've just renamed it uh, dvr 550h that's obviously what they were using before got the computer generating that and it's outputting so uh, yeah just an old pc don't, don't have a ready hdmi source on my bench i tried my rigol 7000 scope but it didn't output anything i don't know so at the moment, we have sound and, at least on two channels, and HDMI switching as well. So it looks like it's a winner winner chicken dinner so far. At least it's useful, um, even if there is some other fault with it. So let's have a look inside this thing. I have found a Yamaha before in the dumpster. It was <laughs> quite a few years ago now. I did a repair video on that, I'm sure. So I'll link that in, because that board down there is kind of familiar. I'm not sure if it's uh, the same one that was in the previous uh, repair that I did, but anyway, it does seem overly familiar. Nippon Chemicon caps, fantastic, you know, like top quality, so terrific. What else have we got? got the main processor board, of course. You'll notice that, of course, because this is, uh, you know, dense modern logic, everything else, it's a uh, uh, multi-layer uh, board. Well, is it four? Is it two? Have they squeezed it all on two layers there? Not sure. Anyway, um, a multi-layer board, uh, yeah, yeah, 
that would be a multi-layer board. They've got the, all the differential pair traces and everything else. You wouldn't be able to just get the ground on the uh, bottom. So yeah, that one's your uh, you know your traditional modern board, and then everything else is just your regular like you know almost not phenolic base, but uh, certainly not the same uh, quality FR4 price. They've really got down. These are all single-sided boards with the link. Here's the power amp. All the caps looking good, Nick. Uh, they're uh, N Nichicon caps, so no worries whatsoever. So they're all single-sided. So it, was that just a couple of channels? That's obviously just a couple of channels there. So And, of course, the main board, huge board down the bottom, is also single-sided. And, of course, the power supply is single-sided. That's a common uh, place to save cost. Transformer looks great. And there's a front panel PCB. Got another double-sided job. So you're more traditional. I've got a couple of boards on the front panel. Stuff like that. Everything looks fine. I'm not seeing any uh, signs of distress or uh, any bulging or leaking caps or anything like that. Even though they are good quality, can still happen. Um, so we need to get uh, some of the big power caps down the bottom. We have to go in and have a look at those, but... Anyway, there's all your uh, TI Cinema DSP. That does your, all your DTS and uh, everything else. What not? There it is. Better look at the uh, code. You've got to, to read the code on these chips. You often got the get the light at the right angle. Stuff like that. Looks like we've got our... Uh, that's our Wi-Fi receiver there. Silicon image. Uh, not sure that's like a... Yeah, that's our HDMI uh, receiver and switcher. So... Anyway, that all looks good. And I really like how they've got these uh, interconnection boards taking it down the bottom. There's some sort of like, there's a double-sided load on that. In fact, these are single-sided boards with a uh, double-sided surface mount on the, uh, well, surface mount on the bottom. But they are actually single-sided interconnect boards that go from the big processor board down to the uh, main board down the bottom there. A couple of nice looking 3 watt power resistors there. I like those. And then we've just got like interconnection boards and uh, stuff like that. That that looks like it does absolutely nothing, but just interconnects wiring harnesses and things like that. So they would have, they would have a reason for that. Yep, I check on the back. There's no parts, no Wally. They got some option links there, so that looks like it's just a like a selection board or uh, something like that, maybe for different models or whatnot. I'm sure they got their uh, reasons for it. And this board here is fascinating. Look. It's basically they got a white that big black wire snaking around there. That that just looks like it's just used to wrap up those cables. Um, it's soldered on the back here, but there seems to be no other purpose for that. It's got a like a SOT23. Oh no, no, it's got a little RF connector footprint on the back, which is weird. But yeah, um, why they've gone to that sort of trouble just to keep those. But once again, it could be like different models and it, like you don't know the design of the different models and what their requirements are but anyway yeah it's very nicely designed and assembled and there's no dust or anything else in here it's clean as a whistle beautiful and i've done that cable wrap in here too you can see that wire soldered on the back of the board and it just wraps around holding all that in place, and they've also done it over here as well in a couple of places. <laughs> Neat. And other attention to detail, look at this. They have the Wi-Fi antenna cable here. Look, they've cable tied it in there, which is nice, but look, they've added a little roll of foam in there just to, like, protect the, the, the wire. <laughs> That's nice. For those curious to see the power transistors down there, none of this uh, integrated circuit rubbish. They've got discrete trannies down there for uh, all the channels. Everything looks in great nick, and uh, I can't fault this thing at all. Um, it, interestingly, they're, they're sort of like on an angle. That heat sink is like on an angle, which is really kind of funky. I like it. And those main power filter caps down in there, there's two of them. They look in great condition. They're actually Yamaha branded. Probably, you know, rebadged Nippon Chemicon or, you know, Yamaha. I don't believe they make uh, capacitors, but ooh, audio full, audio wankery uh, grade 
electrolytic main caps in there. And there's a whole bunch of relays and everything else. I won't get the board out because you've got to go to a lot of effort to take this whole thing apart to show you. There's some like a bunch of smaller caps under there and stuff like that. And I can see them, um, but it's hard to get it uh, on camera. But everything looks fine in this thing. There's no blown components, no bulging caps, no nothing. So I'm <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm very impressed. I can you know I have to do some more thorough testing maybe. But this seems to be somebody's dumped it for some reason, and it seems to work just fine. But unfortunately, I can't like without the remote control. I don't believe I can get in maybe via the network or something perhaps but yeah like how to like configure it all up and set up the wi-fi and stream and all that sort of jazz check it out i'm actually doing a remote firmware upgrade via the uh, wi-fi connection i was able to do the uh, wps thing to simply connect to my wi-fi box here i didn't need the remote i just pressed the button on my uh, router over there it connected um you hold down uh straight and press power uh to get into the like the uh, setup menu of this thing and one of them is a, either a USB or a network firmware upgrade. I was on version uh, 1.09 it told me and now I, it looks like it's downloading the latest firmware from the web. That's fantastic. All right I think it's verifying. Let's see what happens. Oh no. <laughs> it was downloading another S maybe it's got multiple firmware and stuff. I don't know. Verifying, verifying, verifying. But it's fantastic that you can do this erasing. <laughs> okay, so right, it was downloading. Then it's got to verify the contents of what it's downloaded. Then it's got to erase the uh, flash. Uh, to, no, it, there you go, S62. All right, so these are obviously um, different uh, processory things in there that need firmware updating. Update success. Woot. Please, power off. So as I said, you press straight and you power it up. You're into the advanced setup, remote ID, TV format, init, update. As I said, you can uh, choose USB or network. Version 2.59, wow. <laughs> yeah, I was running 1.09 before. So that's a heck of an update. So unfortunately, I can't do much else. Sorry about that. For those who want to see me repair it or something, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. And yes, I do actually score this stuff in the dumpster. It was dumped in the thing. Like, it was. It seemed to be like almost carefully placed on top of the box or something like that. It wasn't like, you know, thrown in or something like that. But I don't know what's wrong. Did they change their system and they didn't need it anymore? Did a, did a company move out of the corporate uh, office complex that we've got here and didn't need it? It was surplus to requirements or something? I have no idea, but... Yeah, I could probably resell this on eBay. I don't really have a use for it uh, myself, so not sure what I'm going to do with it. Anyway, if you like the dumpster diving video and a quick little uh, tear down of this thing, give it a thumbs up and all that sort of jazz, because that always helps a lot. Catch you next time.